First news is out of Brazil. A Netflix show featuring a gay Jesus has outraged 1.5 million Christians. Uh, the Christians are outraged again. And they are absolutely um, trying to get Netflix banned again or protesting against it, telling everyone to lose, ditch your subscription uh, as long as they're keeping the show active. From Portugal, um, or a Portuguese, Portuguese Netflix Brazil. comedy special. Yeah. yeah. Uh, comedy special um, depicting Jesus in, his, in a relationship with a man named uh, Orlando. <laughs> And they're calling the show incredibly trashy, insensitive, and outrageous. I have a great solution for these Christians. I, I, I have a very good solution. Like, if they, if they think, if they're very offended, here's, here's, like, pay attention, okay? This is the solution. Don't watch it! Don't watch it! Oh! I mean, that's shocking. Oh, no, so, yeah, you know, what, what are you going to do? Like, oh, okay. So, you know, if, what, what, what do they think? Like, do they think like their religion is under threat? Like, even if you're a Christian, okay, if you're a Christian, if if you are offended by your G by Jesus being depicted as gay. By the way, I watched this and it's pretty. It's it's, it's kind of funny. It's not very funny, but it's funny. Uh, Jesus just comes home after being gone for forty days, and he has this boyfriend. Uh, and, and the whole, you know, the he's trying to downplay. It's kind of it's kind of cute. It's funny, uh, but. But what, see, first of all, I, I love this because it shows how homophobic the Christian community is. The reaction in Brazil has been huge. Like the Christian, like the lawmakers are getting involved. Like, oh no, like this is horrible. But first it shows how homophobic the Christian community is. Just like the Muslim community, how many times we show how homophobic they are. But also it shows how weak their faith is. Like what's going to happen to Jesus because of this? Like is your like how weak is your religion? Like we have mentioned this every time. Like is your religion actually under threat by this? If it is, then your God is pathetic. Your God is weak. Like holy like are you like, even as a, if you're if you're a Christian, don't you wouldn't you go with like yeah, whatever my my God is God, the creator of the universe. How could this affect him? Right? Like, I don't understand right. what's... Yeah, go on. I also wanted to point out that it's not like this show is trying to depict, like, this is some sort of uh, real story of Jesus, like some alternate story <laughs> of Jesus. Or anything. They're not trying to do that. It's right. strictly satirical. Yeah, and the movie is called, again, The Last Temptation, right? It's in Portuguese, but it has subtitles for uh, in English for people that want to... I think it does, right? Yes, it does. As the one I saw, it had an English subtitle. Um, and uh, B B Brazil is a very, very Catholic country, right? So the people, I didn't anticipate, I mean, I thought like Brazil, yes, very Catholic, but people are free to criticize Christianity in Brazil. Um, but then when the backlash came out, like, oh, holy crap, like, this is like, it, it seemed like the people that made this movie um, for Netflix in Brazil, they are, like, they took a huge risk by doing this like do you have lawmakers you know the backlash by the community by the lawmakers is huge and a lot of people are canceling their netflix netflix subscri subscription and uh, both inside brazil and outside of brazil like oh this is a but they don't understand oh here's another reason why this this whole outrage is stupid which one do, which one do you think is more the number of people that cancel their netflix because they found this offensive or the number of people that just because of all this outrage and because of all this news coverage, they said they had to watch this video and they, they went and got a Netflix, Netflix uh, subscription. I hope that that second group is higher than it, the first. I would bet it's the second group. Um, so, yeah, I bet it was the second group. So, yeah, congratulations. You played yourself. Out, you know, outrage culture doesn't, doesn't usually work. By the way, we lost Chopin. Hopefully we get him back. Let me see what the top comments is um oh dave is saying my favorite uh, christmas film is the life of brian take a chill pill people it's called humor he is not the messiah oh and he has a quote from the movie life of brian he is not the messiah he's a very naughty boy <laughs> yeah life of brian just they also took a whole a lot of backlash when they made that movie but it's been like they how many 
Yeah. yeah. How many years has it been since Life of Brian? And we're still dealing with the same thing over again. Like people still haven't, we still haven't managed to desensitize religious people to, to humor. Um, all right. The la the first temptation or last tempt oh, the la the first temptation. All right, guys, go watch it. Uh, it's just to support the show and tell other people about it. Oh, Shopam, you you're in darkness now. What happened? You turn off the lights. Yeah, my 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 power got cut, so oh. I'm using my mobile internet right uh, now. Okay, your audio is better. It should though. be okay. Good. It good. should be back. It should be back soon. But let's. All see. right. Okay. Good. Also, also, I wanted to say something about this article. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Like, like fr from the gospels, from everything the gospels suggest, mm. it it pretty much seems like Jesus and John were pretty gay for each other. <laughs> and, <laughs> I mean, I mean <laughs> just read the gospels. Jesus and John, pretty gay. <laughs> I don't mm. know what this outrage is about. Jesus and Judas, seem, Judas also seem to be pretty close. Like every yep. it, yeah okay there was a little probably they had a huge orgy. If you look at the story the of Judas, like the book that was cut from the Bible, right. um, yeah, it actually talks a lot about how close they actually were. Okay, okay, yeah, N nothing wrong with that. Jesus, he could be have a relationship with anyone he wants, uh, as long as he doesn't stop other people from doing it. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.